An unassuming factory housing what some call liquid gold. Welcome. My name is Daniel. This is Walala Honey Factory. Honey has a rich history within Ethiopia, yet it remains largely untapped as an export industry. But honey producers in the northern Tigray region are banking on a special variety. This is the place where we store raw honey for production, which is to be processed soon. So we have a variety of honey here, different, collected from different uh, uh, producers in different ways. So one of the famous honey that we have in Tigray is the extra white honey. It's produced using a local blossom from the sage plant family and is a delicacy here. White honey is known for its low moisture content, meeting international quality standards. But Tigray boasts more than its special white honey, with a diverse variety of plants. This is a regular raw white honey. This is raw dim white. This is red raw honey. This is raw yellow honey. Enough variety to fulfill appetites in the domestic market, where people use it for cooking and medicinal purposes, but its main use is for tej, the national drink of honey wine. And yet little is known about Ethiopia's honey outside the country, despite it being Africa's largest honey producer. More than 90% of the honey which is be being produced in Ethiopia is uh, being consumed locally, domestically. The different companies are already exporting honey abroad. But the problem uh, uh, even now is the local demand makes the honey to be more expensive. So it is not helping us to be competitive in the international market. Even though the quality is higher and the type of honey that is being produced in Ethiopia is in good quality, the <clears throat> price for honey is not uh, that much competitive, I can say. It's a, a little bit expensive or higher than the other um, uh, honey that are being supplied from other countries. For now, he focuses on the local market where, despite the demand, yield is low. One possible reason for low production is deforestation and climate change which some people blame for only one harvesting season during the year due to less rainfall. So because of this, the production is, uh, the yield is uh, going to be collected within one season. So uh, this seasonal uh, production, low seasonal production, uh, makes, it to, to, to have, makes us to have low uh, uh, production or low supply. But uh, as long as the production and productivity which means the production from uh, the yield from each beehive increases, uh, obviously this will be solved. Uh, and uh, a lot of efforts are being done on improving the uh, production, productivity and quality of the honey in post and uh, pre-harvesting. Starting with the beeswax foundation sheets. We produce the foundation sheets which are here. This is a very light and uh, uh, transparent type of uh, beeswax which is produced for the uh, bees to produce the honey. The sheets are used in modern beehives which experts say allows bees to focus more on the production of honey instead of beeswax. Research shows bees consume 15 to 20 kilograms of honey to produce one kilogram of wax. If you were building modern beehives you need to place a beeswax foundation sheet inside. First, this helps the bees save time spent in making wax. Second, you will get refined honey. These two are very important. High productivity and quality are key, crucial in providing Walela an edge in the world market. It currently has small buyers in South Africa, the US and China. At present, I'm not working with the bees uh, uh, directly. But indirectly, I'm just trying to uh, sell or to improve the, the uh, to add some values to the production of bees and uh, to sell the products at international standards to the international market. In a country known for its coffee, trying to create a bigger buzz about its honey.